So now let us look at certain endocrine glands, the various endocrine glands present in our body and their secretions and their functions. Now if we see the endocrine glands, the main gland, the important gland or the master gland of our endocrine system is the pituitary gland. So the pituitary gland is located in the floor of the brain, floor at the under surface, down surface, the bottom side of the brain we have a small pea sized gland, the gland is in the size of a pea. So that is pituitary gland. So the pituitary gland it secretes several hormones which influence the other glands. So the pituitary gland is controlling the other glands. That is the reason why the pituitary is called as master gland. Because it is the master it is the controller of other glands. Of course some secretions of pituitary directly they show the influence or effect on the body parts. Some hormones are not controlling any other glands but certain hormones are controlling other glands. See the first one somatotrophin. Somatotrophin is also called as GH, growth hormone. This growth hormone, it controls the growth of bones. So this hormone is to be secreted well to get good height. The growth of our bones is under the control of the hormone somatotrophin, which is secreted by the pituitary gland located at the floor of our brain. The next one thyrotrophin. This thyrotrophin it activates thyroid gland. So it works on thyroid gland to secrete thyroxine. Thyroxine is a hormone which increases which controls our metabolism body metabolism and all that is the function of thyroid gland. But the thyroid gland is activated by this thyrotrophin which is secreted by pituitary. Now gonadotrophin. Gonadotrophin it activates the gonads. Gonads means the reproductive organs of male and female. In male, the reproductive organs are ovar or testis. In male, they are testis. In female, they are ovaries. So these testis and ovaries, the growth of this testis and ovaries, the functioning of ovaries and testis is controlled by the gonadotrophin. It is activated. So it activates that. Next one is ADCH. Adreno corticotropic hormone. So this ADCH, adrenocorticotropic hormone, it stimulates the production of adrenaline in the adrenal cortex. So above the kidney, there are adrenal glands on the kidney. If this is the kidney, on the top of the kidney, there is an adrenal gland. So adrenal gland has got adrenal cortex and medulla. So the adrenal cortex, it secretes adrenaline. This adrenaline secretion is controlled or stimulated by ADCH. Now what is the function of this LH? What is LH? Luteinizing hormone. LH stands for luteinizing hormone. So this luteinizing hormone, what does it do? In males, the luteinizing hormone, it initially, it activates, it initializes the production of hormone testosterone in the testis, testosterone in males. Testosterone in males. Whereas in females, it stimulates the production of progesterone. And it helps in ovulation. It also helps in the development of corpus luteum. And you will understand in the coming sessions the development of uh, corpus luteum, ovulation, all this process in the reproductive uh, system, reproduction lesson. So for the reproduct, uh, reproduction, for the process of reproduction and for the development of reproductive organs, this luteinizing hormone, it contributes, it stimulates. So these are the various hormones that are secreted by the pituitary gland. And not but uh, the least here, the sixth one. FSH. This is also secreted by the pituitary gland. So this FSH is the follicle stimulating hormone. So this is also contributing for the process of reproduction in humans. So the follicle stimulating hormone in males, it helps in the process of spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis means formation of sperm cells. So spermatogenesis in males and in females, it helps in the formation, secretion of the hormone estrogen. Luteinizing hormone helps in the formation of a hormone called as progesterone. 
and follicle stimulating hormone it helps in the formation of estrogen estrogen and progesterone these two are the very two important reproductive hormones in humans in females so estrogen the production of estrogen is stimulated by this follicle stimulating hormone and uh, development of graafian follicles graafian follicles secretion of milk production of milk and secretion of the milk that is also under the control of this estrogen so estrogen and progesterone these two are the female reproductive hormones progesterone is stimulated by this luteinizing hormone however progesterone is secreted by the ovary but it is stimulated and activated by this luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone so these two hormones they control and coordinate the reproductive activities in humans so these somatotrophin thyrotrophin gonadotrophin adrenocorticotropic hormone luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone these are the various hormones secreted by the pituitary so let us look at the other endocrine glands so thyroid thyroid gland it produces thyroxin which controls the metabolism of our body the body temperature and uh, the metabolic activity rate are controlled by the thyroxin different types of uh, hormones are produced by the thyroid t3 and t4 so that is the importance of the thyroxin now let us see the ovary so ovary being a reproductive organ in females it is a reproductive organ at the same time it acts as an endocrine gland ovary it secretes two hormones estrogen and progesterone so these two hormones help in development of secondary sexual characters in females they help in the formation of ova ovulation and they also help in the process of pregnancy and at the same time they help in the formation of uh, production of milk in the females to nourish the babies so all these changes and the menstrual cycle in females is also controlled by these hormones a 28 day menstrual cycle is maintained by because of these uh, hormones and these hormones they also help in the development of uh, pelvis part of the skeleton in females so these uh, these are the female hormones estrogen and progesterone testis it produces testosterone so this testosterone helps the males to produce secondary sexual characters like mustache or beard or normal sexual activity development of the reproductive organs formation of the sperm all these uh, secondary sexual characteristics are developed or uh, because of the influence of the hormone testosterone and adrenal so adrenal gland is found on the kidney i have already drawn and shown the position on the top of the kidney you find some cap like structure which is called as adrenal glands it secretes hormone adrenaline adrenaline this is the fight or flight Uh, mechanism the hormone which helps for fight or flight mechanism adrenaline so it will uh, already we have discussed the activity the functions of the adrenaline and what kind of changes it brings in our body so that is the adrenal adrenal gland which secretes adrenaline so we have already studied the effects of adrenaline that it increases the breathing rate the heart beat rate dilation of coronary artery and uh, increases the uh, dilation of pupil the size of the pupil is increased heart beat is increased these kind of changes are brought by this adrenaline so thyroid ovary testis adrenaline and we can talk about this pancreas also pancreas is also an endocrine gland of course it is a digestive part which secrete pancreatic juice but the islets of pancreas are endocrine in nature which secrete a hormone called as insulin also secretes a glucagon insulin and glucagon these two hormones they help in regulating the blood sugar insulin controls the blood sugar excess glucose in the blood is converted to glycogen by insulin and the glycogen is converted to glucose by glucagon by the action of these two hormones the amount of glucose in the blood is constantly maintained at 100 mg uh, per dl which is a normal value 100 to 110 that is maintained because of these two hormones insulin and glucagon which control the blood sugar levels